this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do an unboxing from a new to me company, Crafties. They are a US based company, although they do ship from China. Uh, they seem to be from their website a specialist in paint by numbers rather than diamond paintings, but they've got quite a few diamond paintings on there and they are continually expanding the range so I'm seeing more and more pop up there all the time and this particular painting is one that I had my eye on for a while and it came up on sale a while ago and I thought I would go for it so I'm going to get in <laughs> as you can see <laughs> the box is a little bit beaten up it came from China as I said the postage cost was really cheap. It only cost three pounds. So I think this is probably quite a a kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Like like a basic shipping process. And therefore it's got a little bit beaten up. But I did peek in top in, in inside even. And what I've got in here is absolutely fine. So I'll put that to one side. So this painting is one, as I say, I've had my eye on it for a while. I really like the work of this artist. The artist is Carla Gerard, and I've seen her paintings in quite a few places. I wanted to try Crafties just because it was a company I hadn't tried, so this is the one I went for. And it's called Evening Star. It's tight to get out of that. <laughs> so let's have a little look. So Crafties is a legally licensed art kind of a place, meaning that they legally license all of the artwork that they turn into diamond paintings and paint by numbers kits. Um, and that means that the artists that create the work are being recompensed fairly for the work. As I said, Carla Gerard, she has paintings all over the place. There's some at Diamond Art Club. I've seen them at uh, DIY Moonshop. Um, I've seen them at Craftably, I've seen them at Crafties, there's probably other places that I haven't come across. But out of those, Diamond Art Club and Crafties are the only two that I've actually purchased from because the other two are a little bit spendy for me. This particular painting, which I will show you now. Oh, I really like this art. Um, so this particular painting, it cost me around £21. So it's not too bad. I will say, however, this is only a 50 by 30 centimetre painting. So I paid £21 and that was when it was on sale. I'd had my eye on it for a while and I went for it when it was on sale. And then I also got a 20% off first time customer discount. So it's not too expensive compared to some other companies but per sort of square inch if you like of diamond painting I don't think that works out that cheap because I feel like I could pay you know if I paid twice as much as that I might get a painting twice this size or more from other companies you know it's kind of on a par with a lot of them really but if your budget is a bit lower and you're happy with smaller diamond paintings this is a way to get them a little cheaper so uh, Crafties has poured glue kits and I'm just having a look at this now. So it's interesting. It's, it's a kind of plasticky, firm canvas. I've got to be honest, this is more familiar from things like the kind of kits you buy on Amazon than, say, a Diamond Art Club or Dreamer Designs. It's not got the kind of the softness, the fabric-y, luxurious feel that some of the brands have. But... It's nice and flexible and it does the job, right? <laughs> Glue seems good and sticky. And I don't know how well you can tell the image from this. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can see some of it but because it's a round diamond painting kit. Um, you can see a lot of background and symbols and it's, it's a little hard to make out some of the details. I'm going to try to find a picture of the original art and put it on the screen now so that you can have a look and see what this is based on and what it's hopefully going to look like when it's complete. So this is a round drill kit, as I mentioned, and it has 26 colours. 
One of these colours, I believe, is some form of AB, Aurora Borealis drill, or crystal drill, and I'm not entirely sure which. They call it, I think it was something like a star AB drill on their website, so that's rather intriguing. So I'm going to have a look in the drills at a... Um, I'm going to have a look at the drills in a moment, getting all tongue twisted today. <laughs> so let's have a look at those now. So first of all, always nice to have a look at the toolkit. Move that out of the way. So we've got a pretty standard toolkit here. No bells and whistles, but everything that you need. So I've got a fairly small tray. But again, very typical of what you get in a lot of kits. I've got two plates of wax that feels quite firm. Normally firmer pink wax tends to be a little better and longer lasting in the pen than the very flimsy soft stuff. So that feels good. I've got a pair of tweezers. They're a bit different to the typical tweezers that you get in diamond painting kits. But actually a lot of companies you don't get them for a round kit. So that's a bit of a, an added extra. I've got two pens and two squishies. One pen is loaded with a three placer and one is loaded with, I would say that's about a five or six placer. They are the thicker kind of plastic multi placers that I don't particularly love, but lots of people will enjoy having those in the kit. They also seem a lot shorter than normal. Am I going mad? They seem quite short, don't they? So that's interesting. They don't seem to be a standard length. I actually quite like that because I've got really small hands because I am in general very small. Um, I'm only four foot eleven. So yeah, they might be quite helpful for me. <laughs> Let's put those to the side. And have a look at the drills. So I've got a nice, satisfyingly packed roll of drills here. Now, I don't want to get them all out because I want to be able to store this away in the box. But given that the box had a lot of empty space, I think I've got a little bit of wiggle room. And I'm going to have a look in here and get some of them out of the packet to see. So I see an AB drill here. Can you see that on the camera? I'm just going to move it around because I'm not sure how much glare you're getting. But there's a nice red AB there. They seem to be labelled in the order that they are on the cam on the key. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. Um, and the code underneath, I assume, is a kit code YM002, because I'm not sure what else that relates to. Yeah. So that identifies them as being part of this kit. If I were to have multiple kits and store them separately, store my canvases separately from my drills. So in here, I have got crystal drills. So there were actually more than one kind of special drill. That's fun. So I don't know how well this is coming out. I'm just going to move it around and hope that you can see. So crystal drills are more a more of a sort of translucent effect compared to normal drills. You can usually tell them because they'll have this silver back and the top will look like kind of coloured glass as opposed to a normal drill that's opaque. So we've got those, we've got normal drills, and we've got AB drills, which are Aurora Borealis drills. And they are normal opaque drills, but with a covering on the top that catches the light, uh, catches the reflection of light and makes it super shiny. So is that all of the special drills? Oh, what's this one? I wonder why this one's in a, a separate bag. Hmm, let me try and find out what that is. 
so I'm a little confused I'm just looking on the crafties website and what it says is that this kit is composed of 24 color diamond drills one ultra shiny star a b diamond and 23 color dry diamond drills so I'm not sure what's what because to me that sounds like 23 normal kinds of drills and then one special drill but i've got a crystal drill an ab drill and this one that looks like just normal white drills but for some reason it's off in a separate pack and on the chart it's labeled as ygo1 instead of a dmc code so i am unsure what that is about <laughs> Oh, there's another one like that too. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and do some research and find out what that's about because it, it seems like I have more different kinds of drills than, than I was expecting there. Not complaining, <laughs> that adds to the fun, but yeah, I'm intrigued. Oh, and another crystal drill. There's a, a nice pale blue crystal drill. So the crystal drills, and what I would call, hmm, <laughs> this is confusing me. <laughs> so I guess the crystal drills are part of the normal drill count. These must be part of the normal drill count and just for some reason they're labeled differently. And then the AB drills must be that star AB. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just assume that's what it is. I'm going to have a look at some of the drills and stop trying to worry about this. But it's good that some of the drills are in little packs because that makes it easier for me to show you what they're like. So I'm just going to try tipping some out and find out what they look like. Because you can never see them very clearly through the side of the, the bag, I find. So, hmm, maybe I haven't got the best tray for this. I don't normally use this kind of tray for rounds, to be fair. Um, I have other trays that I find rounds line up better on, but that, that's okay. So they look pretty even. Um, they're really nice and shiny. They're really reflecting the light well. They're quite smooth on top. These remind me, if you're familiar with Diamond Art Club, and I reference them a lot, but it's just because I've, I've done a lot of their kits. They're older round drills that are almost flat on top but it's because they have so many facets that it kind of rounds it out these look a little bit like that to me i mean they're certainly not dull um they catch the light lots so i think those are going to be really nice to work with let's have a look at the ones in the white pack as well Let me get a different tray, in fact, so that you can actually see them. <laughs> so this is one of my favourite trays for round diamonds. They're from a Etsy company here in the UK. I think they're called something like Hatfield 3D Designs. I'll, I'll double check that and put a note on here if I've remembered that wrong. Um, but they line up rounds really nicely for me normally. So let's have a look. Some of these are sticking a bit but yeah they look very nice really nice and sparkly in this light i'm seeing not much sign of imperfections i can see one with a little mark on but in general these look like good quality drills that are going to be good to work with so that's great i would love to know why some of them are labeled differently <laughs> What the YG stands for in the code instead of a DMC. Anyways, confusion about drill labeling aside, <laughs> they look like good drills, you know, just what you'd expect from a company that isn't bargain basement prices um, and is marketing itself as, as a slightly higher quality company. So I think those will be really nice to work with. So overall, I'm reasonably impressed with my first impressions. Um, I wonder how this is going to turn out. 
I would, because I'm not averse to doing larger paintings, I always wonder with smaller paintings, am I going to end up disappointed and not getting all of the detail through because it's a smaller painting? And I'm, I'm on the fence. We're going to see how it comes out because it's a fairly simple design, um, hence where I thought it, it would be okay. We'll see. I'm I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt and actually it's going to be really fun to do a smaller painting and, and be able to knock it off quite quickly. Crafties does tend to only do smaller paintings. I think at the moment the bigger paintings in their range are sort of 40 to 50 centimetres, possibly a little larger than that now. Um, but a lot of them are around this size. So they're a great one to look at if you do want good quality smaller kits. Um, that feature license art. I know a lot of license art diamond painting companies do tend to go a bit bigger. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this one kitted up and, and working on it. I think it will be one I'd probably take on holiday with me in the summer because it's nice and small. So that will give me a chance to see what it's like. And I hope to get more by this artist one day because uh, she really fascinates me. I was reading up on her and she's self-taught and just has this really distinctive style. Um, there's a couple I have my eye on on the Diamond Art Club website of hers as well. So yeah, I think that's just about everything I have to say. I'm trying to, what's going on with this? I just looked down and realized I couldn't even see a symbol. <laughs> so this fence at the bottom of the picture, the squares look almost almost blank they're just there's a, a faint circle around a white blank space which is odd so that is the white drill that I was just looking at a moment ago I'm really intrigued as if to <laughs> if there's going to be something special about that drill like it, I don't think it would glow in the dark or anything but who knows <laughs> there's certainly a layer of mystery with this kit that I'm not used to which is uh which is enjoyable but yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video um i feel like it's been a little bit chaotic today i'm having a strange old week which i will tell you more about another time when i'm doing a bit more of a chatty video but sorry if i'm a little bit all over the place um if you have enjoyed this video please do consider dropping a like and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do consider doing that too and I will see you sometime soon. Bye.